Welcome to one of Formula One's least known outposts. A little used airfield on a far-flung Spanish island. The Panasonic Toyota Racing Team has come to this unlikely location as part of its continuous search for technical innovation and improved on-track performance. New design ideas are the lifeblood of any Formula One team, and behind the scenes, those ideas are being continually developed. Any time in the season, if you have something in your pocket which improves the car performance, even if it's only a couple of tenths, is going to be very, very uh, worthy. Uh, because the field is uh, so close together, uh, as I said, even a tenth or two can make a very big difference uh, at the final end of the race. The airfield is a perfect place for Jano Trulli to practice race starts, an important driver skill given this year's absence of traction control. But most of the work that's done here is strictly confidential. Well, I think, you know, if you want to be successful in, in Formula One, you've always got something running which hopefully uh, will be new and exciting, let's say. Uh, we've got a couple of projects running at the moment which we hope to get to the track before anybody else. Particularly aero is obviously something where you're always trying to make strides. And I think, you know, with our aero team at the moment, they've come up with a, a couple of nice ideas. So, fingers crossed, we'll we'll make a, a big leap soon. The exact nature of this test must be kept secret. But there's a palpable air of excitement in the aircraft hangar where the team has set up base camp. And obviously I can't go into detail uh, about our developments, but we have something on the uh, design uh, table at the moment which is looking very, very promising indeed. It's something which over the last six months we've been developing and it's quite a radical new flow control device um, which we hope to introduce very, very shortly. If successful, it will significantly improve our uh, performance. So we're, we're very, very excited to, to, to see its uh, evolution. Aerodynamic performance is the driving force behind this kind of new breakthrough technology. And the wind tunnel is a busy but closely guarded facility at Panasonic Toyota Racing. What you're trying to achieve in, in many respects is to really come up with something revolutionary, not purely an evolution of something that exists, because the only way you're going to get out there and win is, is really something new, something that's uh, new maybe to the concept of the car you're running. And that's how it evolves over the whole season. Um, I believe that the person and team who do that best they're going to make the, the, the strides to, to make the podium and to make the wins. Because Formula One doesn't stand still. So every race you need to be putting something new on the car, you need to be coming with some new, uh, as I said, revolutionary ideas if you like. And whoever is doing that, that's the team that's going to be on the top. So as the season progresses, for Panasonic Toyota Racing, the very public spectacle of Grand Prix racing is the tip of a very private iceberg of behind-the-scenes innovation. <laughs>